Get him. Oh. Good morning. Get him, Strider. Oh. Come on. Up, up, up. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Sunrise. So glassy, so beautiful, nice and clear. We're just cooking up a little bit of a feed, having some brekkie. Gonna pack the boat up a bit more, put the swags away. First dive of the morning, Sammy's down there, chasing a trout for himself. What do you reckon Strode is gonna get one? He's been down for a little while. Sammy, that's a big fish, man. Talk that's me bad. through it. What happened? Well, you chuck this on this spot. It's absolutely loaded. Swam down the bottom, and he was just staring at me. <laughs> he actually uh, spooked a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Doubled back to the bummy. Turned around. He was just staring at me, so I plugged him. Good and, shot, man. Yeah, stoked. Really good shot. Can't wait to see the footage. Yeah, me too. Good work, man. Thanks for that. Oh, that was an epic little free swim on that bummy, which took the one trout. It's very important in spots like that that are loaded. Just take one or two fish you do not need to go there and pump it we could have taken them all but we didn't so next time we go back there it should still be loaded time and time and time again awesome start to the morning we're going to punch a little bit deeper sound some ground and hopefully chase some big red fish all right found a bit of ledge see that there's the actual ledge there's bait on top of it it goes from 20 up to like 18 or 15 or something like that and the boys are just hopping in a couple of drops Big Red Emperor is what we're targeting, Nanny Guy, Jobby, or anything a bit more out of the ordinary. And we're gonna leave everything else just because we've had a good day. So we've had a good camping trip so far. Look how magic these conditions are, huh? We're just sort of out exploring some new ground. None of this stuff we've ever dived before. So we're sounding along, looking for ground, which is pretty time consuming, but you gotta do it to find the good fish. Look at these two guys. 
See you later, fellas. So see snake there, Strider? What did you do? Did he fill oh. the... Oh, <laughs> shit. That was... Sammy just went in. Oh. Went in... Went in for the boys, <laughs> eh? Did you? Two lemons <laughs> on it. Sam's just down there dancing with them. I was just like... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is it. Come on, come on. Come on. You want some? You want some? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a crazy series of events then. We just sounded a bit of ground up. Jared bombed it. Said the ledge run that way. So I sounded along it, found heaps better lump of bait, big arches in it. So Jared took a bomb, come up with a huge smile on his face like this. He's like oh. big red down there. Before we lost it, because we dived and dived, couldn't find it. Then a couple of big lemons come in, and then all of a sudden I heard the trigger, and Jared was down the bottom. Figured he had to be north, so I swam up the ledge a little bit, and off in the deep bit on the sand, and there he was right there in the open, and he was a little bit skittish. Started swimming away from me cross enough over the ledge so took a safe holding shot and still put up a put up a good fight and when the sharks came in that big lemon shark got really close and, and then super the hero Sam Sam come, come <laughs> head first like a bullet at gate he's down there just like <laughs> trying to prod it the away. The best thing he did was he didn't poke the actual shark because that'll just provoke it. He just made his presence presence well. known that he was there and he wasn't gonna let him get the fish. And then as soon as I sort of made the third number down there, the shark sort of cowered away a bit. The fish got up to within five meters from the surface and that shot was never gonna let go. And this is what we come out here for. A big red emperor. Well done, Jared. Thanks, Sam. Well done, Sammy. Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hero. <laughs> Trying to bloody brain the fish and stab myself right through the finger. You've got an owie. I've got an owie. 
good fish say, holy shit. Good fish. Water. Decent fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes, pretty happy with that. Beautiful red emperor. Sort of the boys went down, got a fish each. And uh, this fish must have come in on the commotion. Such a good spot down there. Mid water, and I followed it down. I was going to like try and meet it on the bottom, but it just sort of looked like it was going to twitch off. And as soon as it went like that, got it. Bring it in, swam to the top, and then found out Sammy stabbed himself with a knife. So we might start making our way back in. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Owie. Quick, make him a bourbon. Owie. Nothing a little bit of uh, paper towel and duct tape won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> Someone find me a bourbon. <laughs> Sam needs a bourbon pronto. There we go. That looks good, man. Yeah, stop the bleeding. Yeah. All right, let's go squidding. Squidding it is. What a couple of hours that was. We come out this far looking for big redfish and we got exactly what we wanted. Jared got an absolute horse. I ended up with a good one the last dive of the day and we're going to pull the pin here. We got enough fish for a while, so we're going to start punching back towards the islands, go for a little bit of a squid and then start sending it home. Boys just sorting out the esky and way back in there, packing up the gear. Sammy's over there with a sore little finger. <laughs> come on, Ed. Up you get. Oh. Is that a good swim? Good, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's gonna explode. <laughs> <Nice>. ah! <laughs> We've just pulled into another island. It's a long, long trip back home, so we're just going from island to island. Having a little squid. Strider's out cold at the front there. You good, Ed? All right, off to the next island. That way. Jacko, beer o'clock. What do we got going on here, Sammy? Look at your little finger. <laughs> yeah. Sammy's right. celebrating a great victory. Yeah. What's his victory over? Uh, the Shark Defender of the Year. Shark Defender and Stab Muscle. MVP of the trip. Feel that hair in the cup, man. <laughs> 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 Jeez, that's a bit rich. It's gonna be delicious. 
Very good. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit of a little bit of a pain release. Yeah. Jared, that's for straight now. Sweet Star Wars cut, by the way. Thanks. He's my boy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mm, yum, yum, yum. Very good. Man, what an insane trip it's been. The boys are just cleaning up. The sun's on its way down. It is four o'clock, and we need to start punching back. We've still got about an hour and a half to go. It's what, a, what an insane camping trip, guys. Man, it's mental. So we're gonna start punching. You should ask how what happened to the ski today. Oh think? no. <laughs> Wow. That was an insane trip. We just got back and what we're going to do is we're going to start unpacking the boat, get all the gear out. It's The sun's pretty much almost gone and the boys got to work first thing tomorrow morning. So we're going to fillet all the fish tomorrow. We're just going to put some new ice on it, make sure they're cold all night and we'll see you guys tomorrow. You! A little... A long time, but... This is some serious knife sharpening shit right here, Jared Oxley. Repairing. All right, everyone, the guys have finished work. The back at mine, we got some serious fish to fill it right now. Oh. They've been chilling. Shot another one around about this size in the Voyager as well. Probably not. Same. What is it? Yeah. This is the exact Red same Emperor. size yeah. as the one me and Sam shot. Yeah. <laughs> I've always got, I'll never lose the glad wrapping skills. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I just I gotta do this and then I'll come just play. looks like it should have been bigger than that. You can tell Bobby the shake. <laughs> there it is, the big red. We're gonna take the fillets, the wings. Man, those wings are gonna be feeding half on their own. Yeah, gonna be a couple kilos there. Probably cut the jaws out of this. Oh, yeah, take the jaws as well, yeah. Look how far it sits off the table. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> What's going on over here, Jared? All right, so we're prepping this head to bury it and clean it up to get the jaws out and mount the jaws along with the jobby head. Uh, also, we're going to try and pull the otoliths out, which are the ear bones. They grow in rings, just like the rings on a tree. And the same way that you can a, tell how old a tree is, you can tell how old the fish is by counting the rings, so each ring is a year. That's awesome, man. Pretty brutal. <laughs> All right, let's get these bad boys out and have a look at them. See that wiggling around? Oh, wow. They're gonna be pretty big. Oh, what? That's one. Are you kidding me? That's cool, man. So what are they, the ear bones? Ear bones, they're called otoliths. Otoliths. They're very, very interesting little bone. You can wow. tell a lot from not just the age. For those of you that don't know, Jared is a marine biologist. So I did a lot of work with these guys when I was at uni. Very cool, my man. Very, very cool. So we'll cut them up in sections, and then you'll open them up just like you would the, the that's how you see the rings of the tree. And yeah, you can see the pattern in there and count the rings. Cool man. It's awesome. Perfect way to end the camping trip. Some freshly cooked fish and squid, a bit of salad. Oh, and a sleeping strider. <laughs>